Hey guys, Curious Chicks here, and today we have another great video about snacks from Amsterdam. Thanks to Sienna, she was able to get some yummy snacks for us to try. Yes, yeah, so I don't think that these are only found in Amsterdam. Um, they are just different that we I've never seen before, and so you'll recognize things like Cheetos mm -hmm. and Nestle, but it's I've never seen them, so I just picked some up and I thought it'd be fun to try. Yeah, these Cheetos, I'm very familiar with them. They're just like in different forms. Yeah, so we'll start there then. So these are called Cheetos Twisted, uh, and they look like corkscrews. Uh, yeah. So they're corkscrewy, and <laughs> corkscrewy, and it says flaming hot. So, but they don't look flaming hot like the super red flaming hots that we see that we're used to. So that'll be interesting. And then there's Cheetos Nibbit sticks. Nibbit. Uh, it's funny because they have like regular looking Cheetos and they have like red ones like they're flaming hot both on the bag so maybe mm. it's a mixture but they look like shrunken down Cheetos like really like puny looking Cheetos are really skinny and like kind of like, like scrawny Cheetos yeah scrawny Cheetos and they're kind of knuckly let's try this okay I love Cheetos so this would be interesting <laughs> oh they're so cute they're so big they don't look like flaming hot. Yeah. Okay. They're so perfectly swirled and twirled. Mmm. Mm, they're like cheese puffs. So good. They have a, a slight bite. Slight, but not nearly as much as flaming hot. I would think they're more tangy. They're more like um like buffalo wing tangy. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, the consistency is like a cheese puff. Mm-hmm. Mm. I taste just slight. Heat, just slight. Mm. Skew bits. Oh, they are mixed. Mmm, like the packaging, but very, very uh, soft colors here. I'm gonna take one of each. It kind of almost like looks like Asian puff snacks. Mm -hmm. All right. Tastes like fruit chips. They're very airy. They have a different mm. crunch. It tastes like those vegetable sticks. Oh um, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. But then they have like some. Oh, I know. Yeah. They have like a funion consistency, like funiony, kind of, like the crunch of it. But it's like those Asian onion ring. Um, but it's for people that don't have never tried that. Yeah. Before. Well, I would compare them mostly to veggie sticks. Nibbits. Nibbits. Nibbit sticks. They're like sticks. Okay. Not Amsterdam, but like a Netherlands kind of treat is called a stroop waffle or a stroop. Oops, I stroop. spit. Stroop waffle. Stroop waffle. And so they take two really thin waffles basically, and then they put like a thin layer of caramel in between. And that's what the traditional stroop waffle is. But this one, of course, with some flair, I got the one with chocolate. Uh, around it and they actually do that uh, you can buy it with it dipped in chocolate so they'll just like dip one side in some chocolate oh this one is the packaged kind is that how they pronounced it when you were there they're like Stroop. Stroop. yeah That's like they, they speak it. like Dutch mm -hmm. um, and it's very like stroopy <laughs> oh, it's Ooh. it's pretty that caramel is like Ooh. I'm melting. Melting. Okay, hurry, gotta go. Ah. Okay. Ah. Mm. They're like very thin and like clean layers of like cookie, caramel, and then the chocolate around everything. So this is a little bit different in that sense, but mm -hmm. I don't love caramel. And it's not bad. But I like Twix. It's funny. But I don't like caramel, but I like Twix. I kind of like Snickers. Yeah, I'm the same way. And that's about all like I can do. Yeah, I'm not a big caramel person either because I think it's a little too sweet for me. Mm-hmm. Huh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What a mess. I can't take you anywhere. Mm hmm I get stuck all over your teeth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So this one is called Snacks. And I guess this is the big size, so they probably have like a normal size. I don't know what that looks like, but it's by Cote d'Or. I've never heard of that. Cote d'Or? It has no indication of like what it is. 
Like, I don't, oh, like I don't, what's inside? Yeah, like, I don't even know what kind of mm. snack it is, so. Surprise. Oh, it's like in two pieces. It looks like it has some kind of like crispy, crispy balls in it. Yay. By the looks of it. So they're like two you little. Just cut it in half. Yeah. It is crispy. So uh, around something. Is that caramel? Like a nougat or, or caramel? Nougat? Yeah, nougat or caramel. It's like a. Alright, let's try it. So What's like, the inside? I don't know what that inside is. Well, it is somewhat like a nougat. I don't love that. There's something... It says caramel. Really? Then why does it look like that? It doesn't look... I don't think it's like pure caramel. Dripping. It's maybe like caramelly chocolate. Well, there's chocolate around it. Dude, you know... Yeah. You know there's what chocolate like? around it. It's like it's just like two candy bars. Like there's like one candy bar within another candy bar. That's what it looks like. Look at that. Pasty? Yeah, it's, it's a little surrounded by some darker looking chocolate. And surrounding that are maybe one like, like little rice krispies. A little rice krispies. And then around and that it's like a chocolate. milk chocolate. Yeah. Not my favorite. Lion two pack. Rawr. These kind of look like Twix. Kinda. And this is by Nestle, so it's something we're somewhat familiar with. Kind of what's the same inside? Pieces again. Now see, there's caramel. Oh, so this is like cookie-ish with the caramel around that, and then the crispy balls around that. Mm-hmm. And then milk chocolate. So much going on with these, huh? Man. Hmm. This one's much better. Yeah. I have to agree. It's less dense, and so it's not as like rich. Yeah, it doesn't hurt my teeth as much. <laughs> it's kind of like a cookie. Much crunchier. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Mm. I finished that one. This is called Mega Load, and it's like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup with like added stuff on top. So like. There's a cookie on top of it. These look like M&Ms or something. And then an Oreo type mm. of cookie. Interesting. So I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Hmm. Not quite like the photo. <laughs> Not um, as pretty. <laughs> I cheated. Ooh, it's very melty. Okay, one, two, three. Mm. That's good. Super sweet. Mm. Okay. It's not like a Reese's this peanut one, butter. This one, yeah, it's kind of just like a Reese's peanut butter cup with M&Ms on top. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. What, you saving that for later too? Uh-huh. It's way too many sweets right now. Gonna get like sugar high. Yeah! This one looks the least appetizing of them all. <laughs> Cause the cookies like looks dried out, out. dried and <laughs> like. Cheers. Mm. Actually, you like that I one like the best. One that's These hands down are the best of all these that we just tried. Uh huh. I think I agree. So yeah. next time you're traveling, you might want to try just checking out a grocery store. You may find some really cool things. So. Yeah, I always like doing that too. It's very interesting to try different types of foods, foods that you're not familiar with, and foods that you will never find here, or at least here in the United States. So. Um, well, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and uh, please subscribe to our channel. We'll talk to you guys later.